sorry it took so long. That's okay. How's he doing? No change. I do? I am confused, conflicted, hurt. But I mean, I can't say that I'm surprised. From the minute David walked into my life, I have felt this way. You met him late in the game, huh? Yeah, yeah. We lost so many years together. And I kept thinking that that would, you know, make him try harder to be a good person, change his life around. I can't believe he actually offered to help me hold on to my son. Does he even realize how crushed AJ was by his death? I mean, how confusing this is all going to be for him? I had finally accepted that David was gone forever, and now he's back, fighting to hold on to the life that he pretended to lose. It's just none of it makes sense. Good morning. Caleb, good morning, Marissa. Good morning. Caleb, thank you so much again for doing this. Well, don't thank me yet. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, I'm sure that you'll be just fine. Uh, Jack has every confidence. Hmm. Well, shall we? Yeah. What does lead sneakers mean? They're heavy. They weigh you down. Okay, what makes you think that I'm harping on this Kara thing? Hey, yes, it bothers me that my husband flipped out on his ex's whatever it is that you are when you walked in the hospital. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. Well, then what are you saying? When I was in training, every grade, every surgical evaluation meant the world to me. Dr. Hayward was my god. And I was facing the biggest surgical eval of my career. I studied for weeks. I figured out every question they could ask me, every scenario I could face in the OR. But when I woke up that morning, my water and electricity had been turned off. My car wouldn't start. And I got a letter from the dean saying that there was a problem with my school loans. That's awful. Everything that could go wrong did. Everything that someone could do to ruin my morning was happening. Wait, are you saying that someone did this to you? Dr. Hayward did that to me. What? Why? Because I was operating that morning, and he wanted to see if I could do it while my life was falling apart. Uh, well, I would say that seems cruel, but it's dangerous. It was the greatest so. thing anyone ever did for me. How is that possible? A robot could do surgery. Focus is nothing if there's nothing else. But there's always something else. Exactly. Car won't start, bills to pay. I got a cute nurse giving me the eye. Patient was mental. Doesn't matter. It was only here. That's what he said when I walked into the OVA that morning. If you really want this, there's only you. Everything else is. Let sneakers. <laughs> you have what you want. What else is there? I just want to know if she... I'm going to go back to the hospital, and I'm going to see if I can find some med school kids to mess with. I have been there, and it sucks eggs. It does. There's no question about it. When my wife walked out of my life, uh, I was, I was lost. I, d I didn't even know what continent I was on. I didn't even know what hemisphere I was in. Are you kidding? But after some time, I met Amanda, and I slowly figured it all out. It was the Western Hemisphere. What? It was. It was North, North America. That's where I was. And it was Pine Valley. I figured out where I was supposed to be and who I was supposed to be with. And the same exact thing will happen for you, I promise. Well, I know what hemisphere I'm in. I guess that's a start, huh? Yeah, and I think, you know, you're lucky because it, it wasn't such a bad breakup, right? Lucky? <laughs> I didn't realize that. It just mean that you guys, you and Ryan, can be friends. That's not such a horrible deal. How soon can I get out of here? I just... I just want to go home. Hey, how are you? I'm just great. 
I was just telling Ryan how grateful I am to your mother for saving his life. A lot of saving going on lately. Have you seen your mom? She was arrested. She was arrested? She's at her bail hearing right now. She did an incredible thing. How could you be in trouble? I don't know, Greenlee. Why don't you tell me? So, um, how was it working with Griffin in the OR? It was fine, I guess. Why do you ask? I'm just wondering. Hey, Kara. It's me. It's good to hear your voice, too. hearing in the case of the Commonwealth versus Erica Kane. The defense may proceed. Mm. Anytime you're ready. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, Miss Kane is a lot of things, but she's not a runner. This woman has never run from anything or anyone in her life. <laughs> hmm. Mr. Hayward, on the other hand, seems to be a born runner. He escaped police custody with the intention of confronting Mr. Lavery and evidently to attack him on the roof of his apartment, which he did during this altercation. Mr. Hayward produced a gun. The gun fell to the ground. And had Miss Kane not appeared at that moment, Mr. Lavery would not be with us today. Your Honor, this is a woman who has displayed spontaneous courage. For her to be accused of a crime is a crime in itself. She is not a runner. She stands her ground. She is here. She is not going anywhere. I therefore request that she be released on her own recognizance. Ms. Colby? We have no problem with that, Your Honor. Very well. The defendant is hereby released on her own recognizance pending further judicial action. This hearing is now concluded. Thank you, Karen. You did a wonderful job. Absolutely. Well done, Counselor. Yeah. Just like riding a bike. How's David? He's still unconscious. Look, I, I, gotta, I gotta figure out what's going on with Erica, okay? But, but why, why are you... Are you okay? Are you here for a checkup? I need to see David. Kendall, that, that's, that's not a good idea. I didn't ask you. Go, go check on Erica. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. Go ahead. David's critical. The doctors don't expect him to wake up. 